Uh, good morning, Maria, our distinguished awardee. Good morning, uh, Mr. Charles Flynn, who is uh, president of the College of Mount St. Vincent in New York. And good morning, everyone. Today is a memorable, is a memorable one for Maria Ressa, who is receiving the highest honor, the Elizabeth Seaton Medal, for her unwavering con commitment to democratic institutions, to the rule of law, for the truth, and for her courageous perseverance in fostering the values upon which the College of Mount St. Vincent in New York City was founded. The highest award for Maria was similarly re received by President Cory Aquino, the, an alumna in 1986, and by President Benigno Aquino III in 2010. Having been conferred an honorary doctorate years ago, it is my distinct privilege to represent the College of Mount St. Vincent in awarding Maria Ressa. At this juncture, it is my pleasure to request the President of the College of Mount St. Vincent, Mr. Charles Flynn, to share with us the citation attached to this invaluable award. Maria Angelita Reza, the Sisters of Charity, inspired by St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, founded the College of Mount St. Vincent. From its inception, the college has prepared students for lives of accomplishment and service grounded in three fundamental values, an understanding of our common humanity, meaning our equality, a commitment to human dignity, meaning our worth, and a full appreciation of our obligations to each other, meaning our obligations to serve and to do justice. With courage and faith, Corazon Cuanco Aquino, class of 1953, embodied the highest ideals of her alma mater. It's a point of pride to this college that she was instrumental in the restoration of democratic institutions and the rule of law for the people of the Philippines. For her embodiment of those ideals and her service to the people of the Philippines, the college awarded her its highest honor the Elizabeth Seton Medal in 1986. William Havard wrote, the greatest glory of a freeborn people is to transmit that freedom to their children. To secure their future in the United States, the Philippines and across the globe, freedom loving people must perpetually recreate in word and action their founding principles. Democratic institutions and the rule of law must protect every person or they protect no one. Hypocrisy is embedded in every injustice and no rhetorical flourish or Orwellian perversion can change the truth. Maria Angelita Teresa, in your stalwart commitment to the truth your courageous commitment to democratic institutions and the rule of law, and in your perseverance in the face of intimidation, you represent the values with which this college was founded and for which all freedom and justice loving people must stand. Maria Angelita, Angelita Risa, the college is proud to thank, celebrate, and honor you with the Elizabeth Seton Medal on this, the 15th day of October, 2020. May justice and mercy be yours every day of your life. I'm going to present you with this. Charles, thank you so much. Albert, thank you for, for this award. I, I, you know, these uh, have been what help us move forward, right? You, you mentioned facts, rule of law, democratic institutions. Uh, we at Rappler feel like we're really standing on the precipice and looking at this abyss 
because if we take the wrong steps forward right now, all of these things uh, are gone. Democracy as we know it is dead. And uh, I guess you know the, the first is just our battle as journalists is for the facts. Um, and as you know, the, all of the cases that have been filed against us shows a weaponization of the law. Um, uh, finally, I think, you know, I, I would love you to, I, I really believe that the award is also Rapplers uh, because it is, we're, our generation didn't do such a good job in terms of protecting uh, democracy. And it is unfortunately up to our younger, the next generation. Um, we'll hold up, we'll hold the line, which is what I always say. But I think that Rappler is, you know, the median age in our company is 23 years old. And they will inherit the world we leave behind. And I certainly don't want it to be a world where democracy is dead. So I always say, you know, I'll look back a decade from now and know that we did absolutely everything we could. The values that you mentioned, Albert, thank you for telling me about, about the, both the award and the university. Uh, this is it, you know, not just for the Philippines, but I, as you go into elections in the United States, I think what's local is global and global is local. Um, it's up to every freedom loving person, citizen in a democracy to stand up and fight for their rights um, at this existential moment. Thank you yeah. so very much. Yeah. Ali, thank you, but thank Ambassador Del Rosario for representing his honorary alma mater and for conferring on this award on you and Rappler. And I, I want to say that we watch with concern and empathy the challenges that the people of the Philippines are facing and that we share. Um, and in a sense, this, this, this award is very much about what we share, both in challenges and in hope and in conviction. So thank you for all that you are trying to do. And I, I, I know that everyone associated with the College of Mount St. Vincent shares the sentiments I've expressed in concern and commitment and we uh, and we want to thank the ambassador for being willing to appropriately to represent the college and its its hopes and values and conferring this award on you